Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Messages app settings. So in all of our tech bits, um, different apps, we always include a tech bit on the settings app. For that app, um, you can customize all of your apps to make them work the way you want to, and you can do the same for Message. So to customize that, you go into the settings app, which is the little gear, and then I'm going to find um, my Message app down here, there it is, I'm going to tap on that and then it's going to bring up the screen. And for this tech bit we're using the phone um, because in our case our phone is cellular, everyone's phone is cellular, that's how phones work. Um, our iPad is Wi-Fi only, it's not cellular. So um, you're going to have more features here to customize for messages on a cellular device than you are on a Wi-Fi only device. So um, just know if you're using um, a Wi-Fi only app um, device, it will not have a lot of these features that the cellular device does. So the first one is iMessage and that's Apple's service that they came out with um, that allows you to message from an Apple device to another Apple device free. It doesn't come off your data plan. So this is something you definitely want to turn on and you can see it's green which means it on, was, is on. If I turned it off it was not green. Yeah, you just tap on those. You know they're little sliders. Right. right. Like, yeah. You slide it over yeah. and just tap right. on it. Um, and um, so that's a good, obviously, feature to have on. And the next one is send, read, read receipts. And what this is, is um, if someone sends you a text message, when you click on that thread and look at it, it'll mark red on their, back on their thread. And you can see I have it turned off because I like to be a little more sneaky than that. I don't want someone to know when I look at their messages. Maybe it's something I don't want to deal with right now, um, and so I keep mine off, but you can have yours on if you want. And then send as SMS. Um, that means that if someone is not on iMessage, you will still be able to send the message. So if they don't have iMessage turned on, or they have an Android um, device, things like that, it will send it through. It'll just cost money on your data plan. And the way that you um, know if a message is um, iMessage or not is when you look at your thread, um, the text bubble behind the text, if it's iMessage is working, it will be blue. And if it's not working, it will be green. Like these are blue. Right. And if these were green, that would either mean they don't have iMessage turned on or they don't have an Apple product. Right. And then this send and receive here. Um, this is, if you tap on that, it shows you um, that you selected all your phone numbers, all your emails, any way that anyone can contact you. And you want to go ahead and go into that and make sure you do that because some people might text me at my email address. Well, that makes sure that um, I'm going to get it there. Right. And then this is where it says start new conversations from, right. though. You pick your favorite right. there. Right. I like it to come from my phone because it's a message. All right. And then this section here talks about, um, let's say iMessage isn't working for some reason. Sometimes you're out of range of the iMessage server, so it would have to send something as, as Karen had up here, send as SMS. Or you're dealing with someone who doesn't have iMessage. Uh, but let's say that um, uh, you can turn on or off MMS, which is multimedia message oh servicing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> And basically that means for text, for text that have video or pictures in them, um, you can turn that on or off. It, it does use up a lot of data plan information, so maybe you want to turn it off so that if for some reason you send a video to someone or a picture versus iMessage, um, and iMessage isn't available, we don't want it to send that as a standard plan. We want it to just wait till we can send it iMessage. Oh, okay? right, okay. Um, also, you can turn on or off group messaging if you don't want to be able to do the group messaging. Um, you can show a subject field, and what that'll do is it'll put a short subject field, sort of like um, an email has, mm -hmm. at the top of the message. Which thread. is Which, kind of clunky in a text message thread. It's kind of clunky. I don't like to have it on. Um, character count will show how many characters you're sending. Maybe you're keeping track of your um, texting plan by that if you don't have iMessage. And then blocked is nice because you can add people to a blocked list um, and then you will not receive phone calls, messages, or FaceTime from people on the blocked list. I had some random person texting me, so I have, and I just put them in my blocked list and now I don't get it anymore. 
Also good for maybe you've got some kind of you got on some kind of advertising right list sure and they're texting mm -hmm. you stuff all the time. We also have message history. Um, you can choose to keep your messages forever, which is great because you can just keep scrolling back through the message thread and see all the messages that you've text with somebody. But if you start running into storage issues, you can change that to one year or 30 days. And then we have um, filter unknown senders. And this is kind of a unique feature. Um, it allows you to turn off notifications for iMessages from people who are not in your contacts. And then it sorts them into a separate list. So you're not going to be disturbed by somebody that isn't in your contact list um, when you're throughout your normal day. And you'll be able to see all those, those messages in a separate thread, oh, a separate list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then there's some nice features for the audio messages as well as the video messages. Um, as we talked about in our tech bit, um, adding audio messages to your texts. Um, they can be quite large, so this expire is handy. You can see I have it after two minutes, so then they'll just go away. You could tap on that and make it never. Maybe you're waiting for something special and you know you want to keep it. Then this raise to listen is a really nice feature um, when you're playing an audio message. Um, if you're around a group of people um, and you don't want anyone else to hear or it's hard to hear, it's kind of hard to press the button to listen to it and get it to your ear right away, so this raise to listen We'll just take the movement of the phone when you pull it up it'll start playing so that's kind of handy and then the same is sort of for voice messages for video messages um, those are quite large and you should definitely have those set to expire after two minutes